So when I first started cycling, there wasn't much technical clothing specifically designed for women. If I wanted performance out of the clothing I was wearing, I needed to wear men's clothing. And luckily that has changed now. In the last 10 years, I think cycling clothing has changed dramatically and every year there's still improvements. Being a cyclist for my whole life, I haven't really ever explored my creative side. And working with Santini, it meant that I got to explore that. When I first started working on the collection with Fergus, I came to him with the idea of um, using the peacock feather. Is for me a representation of spreading your feathers when you're happy. And I think that when you ride a bike, you should feel confident and um, be showing off. And I was really excited to see the first products because it's almost like he picked what was in my mind and managed to make it into a cycling jersey. For training and for racing, your clothing is one of the most important pieces of equipment you have. You need it to be comfortable, you need it to be fast, and you need it to be durable. Coming up with lots of different ideas um, and also working out what is best for the consumer what women want, I think, is really important. We've really tried to think about um, what the average female cyclist wants from their clothing. For me, it's been an exciting process because I'm a professional cyclist, but in the last kind of nine months, I've really being more of an amateur cyclist and I want to wear something that's comfortable and that I feel good in. So to be able to make a collection that I want to wear is, is really different and really exciting for me. And I'm really excited that I get to design something that's really nice, something that's really feminine, something that women want to wear, but it's not compromising on performance. Just because you want to wear something that's nice doesn't mean that it shouldn't be fast. It's possible to be fast and also to look good.